Hi, welcome to the Ollie Wine YouTube channel. Uh, this is the first wine tasting. Today we'll taste an Italian white grape. I chose Cortesia, the first one, because it's not well known. Uh, Pinot Grigio is the most produced and exported white wine in LA, uh, mostly in the Veneto region. And the grape is actually French. So I chose an Italian grape produced in Piedmont around the turn of Gavi. So usually when you go to a store, you will find the wine, so Cortese under Gavi. So in Italy, most of the time you get, like in France, uh, the wine name after the tone, the the town or the region and not the varietal. The Cortese grape, uh, it's a light body white wine. It's dry with high acidity because it comes from a moderate climate around Piedmont, which is northwest of Italy. It's at the bottom of the Alps and so it's a moderate climate. The flavor that you can find in uh, Cortese wine are pretty standard for a white wine. You have apple, pear, and lemon. Uh, that's pretty standard. So like that's what you will find in a Chardonnay that we will find in a Sauvignon Blanc. And then basically you find either winemaking techniques that had flavor or additional uh, characteristic uh, of the specific grape. In the case of Cortese, the particularities of Cortese, it's a blossom. So Sauvignon Blanc is herbaceous whereas Cortese is more floral blossom flavor, and sometimes you get almond flavor from edging uh, in the bottle. The one I choose for myself today, it's a uh, Mauro Sebaste Gavi. Uh, Mauro Sebaste is a producer. Gavi, again, it's a wine, so it's a, a protected appellation in Italy. It's a 2019, so pretty young white wine. The price is about $17 to $20, so not that inexpensive for an Italian wine. So hopefully uh, we get some good stuff out of it. I poured myself uh, some, a little more than usually you pour when you do a wine tasting. So the typical wine tasting pour is about a quarter of a cup, which is about 1.7 two ounces tops, or five centiliters in, uh, in French and European measurement, or international outside of the US. So as you can see, uh, usually you, you, you look on the, on the white paper, but you can see the color is pretty pale, so it's pale intensity white wine, and uh, the color is is uh, pretty light, so it's uh, what we call lemon or straw. From an aroma standpoint, he has uh, some good aromas there, and so yeah, you, you find what you typically find of apple, pear, lemon. And yeah, on the back of the nose, after you pass these uh, lemon, pear, and uh, apple flavors or aromas, you, you get that kind of blossom that are typical of Cortese wine. It's yeah, if, if I if I uh, squirrel the wine, I, I get it a lot more now. So again, first we, we look at the color, then the nose, and uh, then we go from the, the, the taste, the palate. The flavor are, the wine is also warming up, but the flavor are, are also at a good, uh, good intensity in there. So it's, it's a light white wine, but you definitely get a, a lot. Uh, you, you, you get some alcohol. It's a dry wine. And you get yeah, the typical uh, lemon apple that you, we are the nose, but again, as, as the nose, you cannot get the blossom in the end, so it's a pretty light, uh, light wine, easy to drink, but some complexity. I think it's a little more complex than a, a basic uh, Pinot Gris or, or a basic Chard if it's uh, an oak or an omalolactic fermentation. So it's, uh, it's interesting because of this blossom aspect of it. Uh, the finish. Uh, 
the finish is medium, so it's it's not short, and and that's one example. Like if you buy a seven to ten dollar wine, the the sh usually it's simple wine, massively produced, not a lot of thought put in in the winemaking, and yeah, you can hear me salivate. That's the high acid, and um, the the finish are, are, are that's also how you can differentiate it usually an inexpensive wine to a good and expensive wine is a finish. So the finish is medium, so it's uh, everything is kind of middle of the road here. We have um, medium flavor aromas, medium, medium plus flavor intensity, medium finish. So it's a, it's a good wine. It has some complexity uh, to it. It's pretty well balanced. So the, the uh, between the alcohol, the acidity, the dryness of it, the aromas, it's pretty well balanced. We have some complexity, so so it's a it's a good wine, and so if you're looking something that is close but different to a soft blanc, uh, you should definitely try to uh, try to get the wine. And for the same reason as Sauvignon Blanc, it should pair pretty well with a light, creamy, or a zesty fish dish. So that's uh, that's it for our first wine tasting, Italian wine, Cortese. Pretty good, seventeen twenty dollars. Gavi wine, Italian wine, good to drink by itself or drink with food. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't hesitate to put comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, anything. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and hopefully I will do another uh, pretty soon. Take care. <laughs>